good God, good greetings! Salutations! <laughs> Hello? Oh, for fuck's sake! Hello? Hello? You're in a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Hello? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> None of that shit. Hello? How many Hello? And how would you say that the frequency of these booze would be a lot of booze? Good God, man, that's a lot of booze! Also, oh Jesus, Hannah's buying me card game. uh, not card games, she's buying me games, help. Okay. Which means I have games, and I keep buying him games. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you get games every time I get a game. <laughs> Keep playing what? games. Yeah, we got our libraries linked. Nice. Oh nice. Which oh, means- I'll help explain Gus's big library when I go in his- when I yeah! yeah! He has like 17 games, but technically he has like 400. So I was wondering yeah. he gets his stuff from there. He's too good, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna feel better when he gets that new PC. What's Just passive wisdom? It. Uh, mine's, mine's like 16, I think. Mine's 14. Mine's Open 16. Up your Am I as wise as the druid? And as Actually, charismatic no, as 15. the halfling? No, you're-, you're Why are you me. two needed? Get out of here! I'm going on my passive, own! Passive perception, not passive wisdom. It means basically how much you pick on on your like, journey. Like, if you're not specifically going out to see stuff, you'll see this and that. That might be hidden. Okay. All right, let's get this on the way. So, uh, with the recap again, I'll let you guys do it. Ah, let's get. We're gonna sound like the Legend of Korra, dude. Ah, yeah, the party was here. <laughs> ah, the party was on uh, this area. As you know, I have memory loss every time, so <laughs> I don't remember. Um, we okay. We were at the pub. We did the funeral. Um. And the I tried burning down stuff. You tried burning stuff. It didn't really go go well. Um, you got drunk severely, severely drunk. And we did the funeral. Um, and Sparrow said like he he needed to talk to us about something, and he really couldn't quite explain what it was. Uh, and we were just chilling in the pub, and then Roska got a visit from an old mate who he didn't like, but gave him orders to come to, like, what I assume to be the orc capital. Um, and we went there, and that's, and we met, we met back with the guy who gave Roska the message, and that's where we left off. Well, the only use of me is that I can speak orcish, so... Well, I mean, if one of us gets deep I'm speech, pretty we're pretty important. sorted, I'd say. Oh, uh, you want to talk about deep speech? <laughs> deep speech is not a thing! I know, and I'm gonna <laughs> constantly say that, just to annoy you, every time. I'm That's the one thing I'll remember. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to sound so good. Can I roll for deep speech? Hold oh, on, shit. I'm just I'm just rolling a d12 of psychic damage on uh, Antius' no. character. Okay, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Antius uh, suffers a head hemorrhaging for 11 points of psychic damage. <laughs> Do I actually? No. Okay. It's just saying that I can do this, bitch. I know. <laughs> he has the power. He's out DM going. has too much power. I know. He has all the don't power. It's not too much, it's DM. just all of it. Roll for, uh... <laughs> My dad yeah. just said no one fucks with the DM. <laughs> no one no- yeah, you're damn right about that. <laughs> you're goddamn right. As you were left off in front of this elaborate, um, giant, um, like bronze gate that had the homage yeah. of an orcish army charging into whoever would be in front of this gate. I was to ward off anyone that isn't, you know, willing for a fight. You could say. Okay. Yep. And in front of this gate is this man that you've seen before in the who entered the pub and delivered this notice to Roska. This man in a like. Officer in um, uniform, or like almost like a Confederate thing with a what is it called? Cutlass at his side, and he's in this very sort of military esque like stance, like his feet together and very prim and okay. proper, but also Thank very serious. Yeah, I'll drink it. 
<laughs> As Poro yep. Por gets a, a drink from the side. <laughs> <laughs> Another ale, fucking hell. Yeah, no, that's what I'm having, nah. I've seen what? that Pokemon before. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I've there. seen that Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, what? Po oh no. Oh that's shit, the... Poro's getting drunk. <laughs> oh, is she talking about Riolu? Lugaria. No, she does. She doesn't have a. She can't even see. Oh, okay. Like she just sees my character sheet. She just thinks that Park is a ah uh, uh, Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. Oh, he is. He's Re he's Lugaria. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you uh, you stand in front of this half wow. and he's like, "It's time to go in. Your job begins now." And these two guards that were on the side seem to like. With great heft, like bash against this fucking um bronze yeah, awesome. giant double door, and it you just sort of you just sort of hear the echo of it. I will mute you. <laughs> Wait, who are you muting? You. Why me? You too much background noise. I think, that's, yeah, I, think I, I think I have the most background noise as, as Evie won't shut the fuck up! Well, there's also that. No, you both have background noise. I'm pretty I sure. I background noise because my brother won't stop talking. Yeah. I know, I know! <laughs> that's a funny joke there, um, uh, Austin. He stops talking. I'll do it later. You already? I'm ready. Take me off. <laughs> Take you off. I'm ready. Okay. Are you? Yeah, are you really? Are you really? <laughs> I, I have to ask. Yeah. Alright. I'm ready. I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're, you're, you're ready, Gray. Can I'm you give me an additional yeah. minute or two? Gus, why don't you just put an Eevee in front of Eevee? Because what she's, you do she's want to double her power. Yeah, I called her a, I think an espion at school and she she kind of got a bit mad at me. Uh, <laughs> why did you call I'm her saying, a fucking espion? I'm just she saying is. this. <laughs> I'm just saying that she she's watching Pokemon as well as playing Pokemon at the same time. Is she playing Minecraft okay. in all 1800 different versions? No, nah, oh, nah, she's playing the Roblox version. Of Minecraft? <laughs> why not? I wouldn't be surprised. No? So, there's a fully no, no, no. functioned version of Go. Like CS Go in robots. There's gotta be Micah. <laughs> Tyson and her should never meet. I mean my brother, not not Tyson Hart. No, no, they shouldn't oh, either, but moving on from that. Alright, let, 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 let's get to this. So, you stand in front of these um, bronze iron doors with the homage yeah. of the army charging forward. And the two guards with, like, their ga gauntlet, like, gauntlet kid Fits. Fists. Yes, that, that's the word, Dad. Gauntleted fists bash against the door and it just sort of rumbles the area as you hear it and my yeah. dice falls. <laughs> the guards are like knocking on the door, oh. but it seems like it takes a great heft to get anything ringing out of it, considering it's like bronze. Okay. Like made out of like solid bronze, and you just hear like two metal like sliders along it, it, it just screech with like great effort and then the doors open up inwards and you can see this uh i'd say sort of four year almost oh, oh yeah so it opens up into a um sort of frontal gardeny sort of bit sort of odd for the city which has sort of been sort of militaristic you could say and uh, and like, in behind this frontal garden, you can see a set of just regular oak double doors. Uh, they're not giant, they're sort of just regular size that open up to a foyer. So, anyone want to do any checks right now? Uh, What's uh, have we been, have we been... Sure. One at a time, please. <laughs> uh, I have initiative four, so I think I should. <laughs> I'm faster than you! So I didn't say Are you initially. Really? Yes, Are you I really. Yes, I am faster than you. How does initiative depends work? On anyway? yeah. uh, depends on perspective. Depends on perspective. My movement speed's yeah. forty foot. Yeah. Okay. So let speed. me just let me put this to rest. Initiative is reaction speed, not yeah. movement speed. Oh yeah, I know that. 
So you could be, you have a faster reaction speed than Auntie at the moment. Doesn't mean you're quicker than her, considering your stubby legs. Just like, so wait, my initiative hey. speed would be plus three. Why do we need to run fast? I don't know. I said, <laughs> does anyone want to run checks? And everyone's just like, initiative. That's, and I said, I, I said I should go first because I have initiative four. Oh, but I'm fast! <laughs> That's uh, how we yeah, got yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Let's see yeah. how much psychic damage everyone's going to take. No, no. Honestly, I don't. No, I'm gonna. Say, I don't uh, really everyone... care. I'm just being I... a bit of a dick. I want to punch Sparrow, uh, but I'm not psychic. going to. Everyone takes uh, eight I points of psychic gosh, damage. Gosh. Can this stop? <laughs> everyone takes eight points of psychic damage. Is that real? It will be in a minute if it, people don't start bullshitting. <laughs> I, I want. Well, I, I'm, I'm, what's I'm, I'm actually fine with whoever goes first. I'm just. Thinking. I want to know what Roscoe's doing. I don't want to do a fucking check. I just want to know what's happening. Okay, thank you. You're the first one that actually wanted to do something and went for it. That wasn't ridiculous. Roscoe's just got mo moving in. I'm it's moving like, with him. I'm his shadow. I'm his shadow. Okay. Uh, D12 on uh, Porik. Uh, Porik takes uh, six psychic damage. Wait, why? why the hell does he take psychic Why is he- Who's- Look at Discord right now. Oh. He's just asking a question. <laughs> Can we disable the DM psychic traps? Can mm. I check for psychic trap? He's making a joke. Yes, that's why he's I, uh, taking psychic damage. Well. <laughs> Wait, is this legit? Fucking Sorry, man. <laughs> no, it's not legit, but it will be if he doesn't stop messing around. <laughs> Oh wait, I can just use cure wounds. I'm fine. No, no, I'll sink him, you're not. <laughs> just <laughs> stop. Okay. I don't want to aggravate him. Uh, uh 2d12 of none. <laughs> so, I check for animals. So, Auntie, you're just walking in, and with your pa pa passive perception, you can see this flower bed. It's sort of. Uh, it's well kept, but it isn't like super high class. It's sort of flowers okay. there, they, they're growing and stuff. They look like they're from various regions. But, we're not mm. someone that. Goes with flowers per se, so you don't know what type of, from what regions they're from. Okay then. What is Sparrow and Porig doing? As they are currently just with their hands in their pants, just sort of milling around the gate. Are they wa walking in or? Oh, uh, I'm just give me a sec. I'm just looking through my uh, features. Uh... I don't have Can descriptions I, uh, for my features, I just have their title, because I pretty much understand what they mean just by looking at them. Uh, I'm, uh, pretty much I'm just, uh, just informing, um, Porik about the group at this moment, because I've told them about the mission. I would've, I would've said along the way when you're, like, walking to the gate and getting oh, out Oh, so I was gonna say, so I fully told him everything that he needs. Yeah. To. About uh, what? I'll catch up. Uh, Porik, you would've been caught up that the funeral happened while you pa were passed out. No one helped you up. That's why you stink up vomit right now and are uh, filthy. Uh, I'd like to look for a uh, bathing area. Uh, the, in in the front of the garden, I'll say there is just like you know one of those bird baths. I would like to jump in it. Uh, transform into a small animal and jump in it. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you do that? So I'm guessing. Uh, I'm just saying, when you transform into an animal. All your co clothes go into it. They don't get shredded or anything. So that means they won't be affected by anything while they're in animal form. Okay. It, it would completely destroy the of, point. If you go out of animal form, you will still have be drenched in vomit. Okay, I would like to transform into a brown bear. <laughs> Are you and fucking just... serious? <laughs> so, so. Park, you, you stand there, and you just like, what can, you look at the vomit, and you're like, I know what to do, and you transform yourself. Sparrow, you look at Park as they transform into this brown bear, as their wild, muttied hair, do which I is notice? drenched in vomit, like, falls over their body, and they begin to grow into a brown bear. Do I notice? I'd like uh, to wave my paw at him. Where's your perception, dude? Mine, uh, plus three. Yeah. Ah, I got plus four. You're, 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 you're too, too enamored with what Roscoe's doing at the moment, so you're just okay. following him? Alright then. I would like to wave at, uh... Roscoe notices. Uh. He notices, <laughs> he turns around to check the other two, and he just goes, I... the, What the fuck? 
Why is there a brown fucking bear there? And now I know it's there because I know yes. I yes. shrug I shrug at Roscoe and say, just go with the flow, dude. I like the way you, that you, everybody... you you only notice that there's a brown bear there after fucking Roscoe turns around and mentions there's a brown bear. So you have so to Sparrow, you're also caught off guard by this brown bear suddenly standing there. I swear silently in Elven, enough for Roscoe to hear me. And and the guards look at the brown bear and push oh, okay. point their weapons at them. Why did you <laughs> think this is smart? I'm not and I'm not This is isn't happen. my combat. This is not my combat. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I use. Uh, can I roll a persuasion check to say it's all right? It's. She's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the guards, in orcish, go what? And because you still, uh, you still, uh, got your mental stats, so you still understand la languages, Pollock. You know, all the orc guards just say what in orcish. It doesn't seem like they speak common. Okay, so. It looks like everyone's about to fight the brown bear. The brown bear shrinks back into this elven form, and the guards now put chains on your arm and are now leading you through by tips of spears. <laughs> and in Orcish, they basically tell you, don't fucking pull that shit here or we will kill you. I would like to, uh... To don't you up. fucking dare! I will actually slaughter- Like, you have no idea! Fine. You have no idea! If you do that, I'll be forced to sort of help you! I'll have to I'd kill like to you! i general talk to the guard. A general talk, like... Okay, you say hi to Friendly. the guard in Orcish. The okay, you, you say hi to the guard in Orcish. He says, shut the fuck up, wall life form. Don't pull any shit or we will kill you on sight. I nod and just keep walking. <laughs> okay, so now you have you have Pork getting let in by spearheads with Roska leading in front, who's just like got he, he's face palming right now and just saying, "Why did I say I'll look after this?" One? Can I do an investigation check before I head off? You most certainly can. I didn't hear anything. What's investigation? One? Plus two. Plus two. I hope we uh, get sleep, because that was my only, uh, wild shape check. You have two. No, I only have one. No, you have two. It's your druid level, uh, halved. Shit, yes. wait a second. Yes. Investigation, no. No, I okay. think I do have plus two, wait. If it, 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 it's a pretty high roll, so I'll stay in nonetheless. You'll probably get the information. You look around, and it looks like someone's been in the flower beds recently, probably the gardeners. Uh, you, you see, like, you can, as you're like looking around, there's a few other guards around and they just sort of, th these ones are half orcs instead of orcs like the other ones. And so they're just like, uh, they basically just make sure that you're in the perimeter. They, one of them goes up to you and just basically says, just keep to this area. And, and they're not like doing it aggressively. They're sort of like just trying to keep the peace. Because yep. a fucking person just turned into a brown bear and they're all sort of on edge at the moment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and, and they basically just also say, just don't try anything like that. They look like, they're not saying like, don't you fuck, like, eat aggressively. They're just like, don't, don't try anything. We don't want something like this going awry, basically. Yeah. I'll just follow behind um, Porik at the back. Does that use one oh, of his I, I, spells a day, or...? That uses his wild shape, which apparently he only has one of. Yeah. Yeah. It's your druid level halved. Oh. I swear you start with two. Round it down, so until I'm level four, I don't have any more. Um, I'm looking up wild shape quickly just to make sure. Don't... I'll say also with your investigation check. No, I'm just making sure. Okay. So I think level two. Oh, uh, Gus, what terrain is this, I guess? Ah, uh, it would be urban. Urban. Urban, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. It's two times. Yeah, Brilliant, So he can do it again. Yeah. If he does, we're probably gonna- we're gonna get into a Oh, it's fight. like- it's like key, I guess. Uh, no. Yeah, I told- I said- I, I knew it so that you get this feature twice. <laughs> if we get into Bitch. a fight, we're gonna have to rely on my friend <laughs> from above to save us. <laughs> my mate, my good lord above. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're you so guys don't know about it. Even I sort of don't know about it. 
And also, and also, you know that Deneb, you've been a quite lucky. So you also know that Deneb might put um, one of his uh, bad tools on you. And I know about yeah. Deneb too, don't I? Okay, I haven't well, been lucky just... in the slightest. You've just uh, been an Deneb. idiot. <laughs> Pork, Pork somehow knows everything about Deneb. So I don't know from being a <laughs> yeah, because you rolled a twenty-five. Yeah, you rolled a nat twenty. Yeah. Rolled... Nat 20. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I know a bit about him. You know everything about him. <laughs> I know. found like a book. Okay, let's um, yeah. continue from a wall uh, yeah. on the moon. I, I'll say, you're, it, uh, as you're investigating around, you can tell that there's been like scuff marks around yeah. the area. Sort of like, it seems like it's been combat, but it doesn't seem like it's been with intent to kill with how well yeah. you roll investigation. It seems like it might be a bit of sparring and it's just gone yeah. a bit awry. And you can also see that there is an area where it seems like they're training up, well, the sort of guards and stuff, with like a few bits of loose weapons. So you said that you're going to go back, like, go back around and meet up with the party and follow them. Uh, yeah, I'll just um stay, uh, stay behind Porix. They'll be at the back. The yep. Uh, so you're behind the guards leading in Porik, basically. Yeah. Only for Wild Shade. It'll oh, only be for wild well, shape, well, unless it well, says, well, unless it says you regain it. it you, you look at spell casting; it will say for sh a short and or long rest. If it only says for long rest, it will only apply to long rest. Okay, I'll check. I can do thirty minutes of meditating, and I'll get all my key back, so I don't have to rest. But it counts as a rest. No, you still have to rest. Yeah, I just remember. Um, yeah, yeah, I do have to rest with it. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I have to take uh, eight hours. Long rest for your spells to come back. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so gonna... I'm getting. I'm guessing short rest counts for the elf ability of a. Uh, a short. A short rest would be an hour, and that could just be you sitting down for an hour. It doesn't have to be you having oh. a nap. Yeah. A short rest is an hour. A long rest is eight hours of sleep, where you just magically wake up with like eight hours in the morning because eight hours of rest or whatever. So we split up the party again. No, you're all being, as uh, Sparrow said, he's coming in behind. So you, you all are moving forward in, and you can see that, it, you can see the foyer area, and it, for <laughs> this being sort of like, for what you saw at the beginning of the town, and in the middle of it, this looks completely different. This doesn't look like this sort of average orc society either. It looks like, think of any sort of high up their ass society, that's sort of what this place looks like. Mm, that's so, it's, oh. so you can see there are portraits of just like orcs in noblemen's clothes or women's clothes, if it's like a female orc or half orc. And there's just portraits of these littered around the hall. There's a um, fucking like front desk area where one of the guards, one of the guards leading in port goes over. No, no, it'll be the, um, the guy you met out the front in the gates moves over and fucking says in orcish, and, but basically it's sort of far away, so Porik, you don't, pe actually, perception check. What's your perception? Uh, my perception. What's yep. four? Uh, you're not, a, you are, it might be the fact that you've got spears in your back sort of distracting you, but you can't pick up on the, um, you can pick up that they're speaking orcish, but you can't concentrate enough to It might be the fact that you committed a crime <laughs> that you can't hear. That too! Bear isn't a crime. It, 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 it's, it's talking into a bear while leading into the capital of the place that you are currently staying at. It doesn't see... It, okay, now like, I can see. It'll be like, it'll be like if I went to Russia... With, with like a van or something, and as I was entering the, no, if I was entering the White House, and as I was entering, I just unhooked the back of my van, and a fucking wild bear just wandered out of it. <laughs> Do you not think that would just be like, oh, you're coming in for fucking questioning? I might have, uh, I probably should have turned to like an elk. Hey, hey, that's I think bring it in, I don't... Just don't turn into an animal. Just don't turn into an animal. Don't... I I I imagine I imagine Park's like I should have turned into an elk, and then Sparrow's just like you shouldn't have fucking done anything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the guards, Actually, the guards, um, the guards because they can't speak common, they just don't have any words. They're just like, uh, they're just saying like, uh, they're speaking, I guess. And wait, I Sparrow, think, um, um if... yeah, go on. I would like to yeah, see uh, an orcish. Oh, 
P Pork, Why you know so I'm gonna punch you. P I'm punching her. P no, P Pork, you hold on, let me just describe the situation first. Everyone's sort of going ahead of the DM. Pork, you notice that the the, the um the, um this um I'll call him Officer Half Orc is making sure that you cannot fucking hear the conversation at all between him and the receptionist. Uh, Roska's just sort of sitting there and he's just like shaking his fucking head. I'm and shaking. Man. He he, he, go, he goes to the fucking half orc and he he um whispers into him and the half orc like nods. I'll do a perce uh, er everyone's perception, please. Plus three. Plus, Plus four. three. Plus four. Give me a sec. Ah, uh, uh, zero. My perception. So perception zero. Okay, so we'll do Antia first. Okay, so that's plus three, right? Mm hmm. So 20. Okay, Sparrow, aren't you? You know that he's fucking set, like basically saying, give me a fucking heavy drink. Porik, he says something about a drink, and that's all you can decipher. Damn. <laughs> and basically, you see, uh, Auntie and Sparrow, you see the, like, so, like a uh, human slave, you know, like pick up this fucking mug, fill it up with some black liquid. Oh. You're not sure what liquid it is, and like and deliver it over to Ruska, who skulls it immediately. I want to skull three tall glasses of it, <laughs> and he takes it like a fucking champ. I want to punch you if if not whatever. Move on, move on. And, and, uh, uh, after a while, the the, the um half orc ge gestures you all to move forward, and Roska's taking head charge and moving forward. Guys, can and you so, do me a favor? Yes. Anytime Porik does something that could be considered illegal, could you just do a check on me to see if I'm like against it or not, basically? Because I feel you're, like you're I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Do that to me and. Uh, and yeah, I'm warm Considering warm. you guys have been here for a day, Jesus. you don't- you're not a hundred percent sure on the laws here. This could be total behavior! I, I'm she hurt not, someone! You're the only one that actually has been here more than us besides Roska. If she hurt should, someone, basically. I will let, I'll, very I'll clearly let illegal! Roll. I'll let you both roll history. Alright. Yeah. So, uh, what's history, history checks? So yours is zero, and uh, yours is... One. One. Not 20! You know that this is not normal behavior, and it's a shame on in this land. <laughs> uh, the Sparrow, yeah, you, you kind of think, and you're like, there's no rules that say that this couldn't be a thing that's accepted. Wait, so what was my check? Well, for me. And, and, aren't you, you know that th this is like stuff that people frown upon and isn't really like something that the law protects at all and in most places it's generally frowned upon yeah i figured in, in, in this place it's sort of a bit a bit in the uh, gray area okay. considering that the history in this place is tr like strong come up on top so you're not a hundred percent sure all right then i'll just move along Roll for me. No, you know your shit. <laughs> you do. You actually do. You do. <laughs> you, you've been here for, I would say, at least a few days. Yeah, you, you're going, like, pretty much against the law. Let me roll a d100 real quick. Because of oh, that no. Roll. I don't think we're even, like, three minutes into our adventure. In, in the time. <laughs> in the, the end time. Uh, you can hear some of the guards saying that, isn't she the one that's picking up all the tab on all, all those places? Oh no. In Orcish. Wait, what am I doing? You can hear the guards, like, pointing- you see the guards pointing at you and, like, basically whispering in Orcish, it's like, isn't she the one that's going around, like, breaking the lawn stuff and p picking up that tab? Oh. And then one of those little classes is like, yeah, 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 I hear it's a pretty big tab of- do a perception check for me, please. And for me. Plus three. Plus um, you hear uh, 150 gold okay. in Orkish again. 
Oh yeah, so I don't speak orcish boring. actually, so... Orcs, you know what so only... orcish? Yeah, true. Only Porik knows that there is 150 gold pieces debt on her name at Can the I moment. use insight to gauge... Deception. Oh, never mind then. You said, you said perception. Oh. I'll, I'll, I can roll insight. What's insight? Plus five. Insight's better. <laughs> Uh, 11, I'll say that that's uh, you can, you're not sure what they're talking about, but you can tell that they're pointing at Porik and uh -oh. they're discussing something about her. Okay. And it's a bit negative. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll keep Porik, that. you also wanted to do perception. I'll send you there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm plus four. Plus four for perception. So, what, okay, uh, what are you looking out for? Uh, what they're talking about. You already know. You already know. Uh, that, that'd be oh. an insight check. Uh, well, you already know. You already know, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, you then, uh, just what's they're... around me? How many guards are you? Uh, you're... <laughs> there is at least... There is if, at least... If you start a fight in here... in this corridor, alone. If you not start counting a fight. The, the half-orc leading the group, and the two guards leading you in. This place looks stacked with guards. Are they all within 15 foot? No. <laughs> yeah, the people say, within, not answer. The people, <laughs> the people within 15 foot are <laughs> the two guards beside you and then your entire party. Okay, yeah, no, I won't do anything. <laughs> you won't do anything? Can, right? I, can I roll an investigation check on uh, our current area? Or does that already count from my last one? What's Roscoe doing? Roscoe rolls perception, unfor uh, insight. Unfortunately, you can't tell what you're planning. Uh, what are you, what are you doing, Sparrow? Uh, I was going to say, I was going to roll an investigation check, but I think we're still sort of in the same area. So don't we're, we're, we know where we are, pretty much. Yeah. 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 You're, just, you're in this corridor, and it's sort of the same thing with portraits, but sort of in between a few of the portraits is a guard posted there. You can see that there was two guards sort of talking in the corner, pointing at Porik. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in like a reception yeah, room right now. Yeah, you're, you're just like turning out of it. And as you he head on through, you see that it sort of st stays with that thing for a while. A lot of portraits of half orcs. It seems like it's a s sort of lineage. Perception checks from everyone. Except for Roscoe. Plus three. 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 Oh yeah, you can tell this is this is a lineage of this place. Yep, figured. Uh, Sparrow. I'm there. Plus three. You can tell the same thing. Porik. Is Park coming with us? Pardon. Park's getting let you. in. Yeah. With guards. Oh okay. Yeah, with guards. What? Uh, perception. Is it plus four? Four. four. Yeah, four. Yeah. Uh. There's just sort of all these portraits of these orcs. That they look somewhat similar. It might be a lineage. It could just be who's been in charge for a while. You know, I'm not percent sure. A few of them do look like similar enough, so it could just be a sort of the same orc. No, oh, yeah. You know, I'm not percent sure. And you're just and the other thing that you all notice: lots of guards. Brilliant. Heavily armored, heavily armed guards with. Like long swords and spears, tower shields, full plate mail and helmets, and they're all sort of like in this stoic sort of stance. And the way that the fucking corridor is shaped, it looks like if you guys started fighting, not only only would you get swarmed with fucking orcs, it looks like it would be a lot harder to attack. And I would attack you. Can I? Uh, can I uh, quietly um whisper to? Uh... There are two guards in front of you. It's That's going. Fine. You're going. It's fine. You're going to. I'm just letting you know. If you're going to whisper to them, it's going to be a tough check, and you're probably going to have to persuade them. Oh, actually, no. They don't speak common, so you wouldn't have to be worried about them if Chris, they spoke I common. I try to persuade them. No, oh, wait, can I first meet? <laughs> I, I'll say, say I just have a... I'll say Sparrow. You see, Pork sort of turn around and open her mouth as if she's about to speak something. Can I? Can I intervene? No, I. What, I just. Can I use that? guidance? So that that's the first level spell slot, or is that a uh, cantrip? Uh, cantrip. I want. I want to intervene. So you use guidance on yourself. If you summon a spell now, the guards oh, are yeah, going to be point. on edge and probably attack you right on the spot. Good point, I won't do it then. 
So can I was gonna I, touch a guard to... and be like, I'll oh, use guidance on this guard and increase his intimidation. <laughs> no, nope. I, I don't want to intervene anymore. I don't. Chat? Yeah, can I quickly have a chat with Thor? I don't want to intervene anymore. The, the half orc <laughs> sort of turns around to you all and he's a bit miffed and he says, he points at Porik and says, clamp that one's tongue. I God agree. damn it. I just nod. <laughs> and you, and you, just, you just see them pull out this metal clamp, put it over Porik's head. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a check. They're all super strong. There's fucking three of them. Roska's even helping them put on the clamp. Good. <laughs> so I help too. They all just clamp your mouth shut. You cannot talk. Good. But, so, you are bound at the moment, which means you cannot have free movement of your hands. You are... And you are... Um, fucking... Your mouth is shut, so you cannot talk, which means you cannot cast spells. God damn it. 